Now this is the preview of the American Athletic Conference tennis tournaments, both men and women. Obviously, on the men's side, there's only eight teams. The one seed SMU they will take on the eight seed Temple. The four seed South Florida is going to take on the number five seed UCF, and UCF has a losing record right now. They need to win this con uh, this Amer I mean this conference tournament just to even get in the tournament because of a losing record. The number three seed Tulsa. We'll take on number 60, Tulane, who has a losing record, 7-14. The problem is they really do need to win this tournament just to even get in. Number two seed, Memphis, is going to play the number seven seed, Wichita State. Wichita State needs to win this Conference USA tournament just to even get it in the NCAA tournament. But if you're going to, I would say, and by the way, on the men's side, there's nothing like top 16 implications, seed implications for the NCAA. It's probably like just getting better positioning for that, to be honest. I would think SMU would win, but South Florida versus UCF, not to pick them to me, but I think because UCF needs to win this, UCF is going to win, but the problem is they're probably going to lose to SMU. But then again, we'll wait and see. The number three seed Tulsa should, they need to really win this conference tournament too because they're, they're right on the bubble, or really far down in the rankings. Just to even get in is pretty hard. So I would think Tulsa is going to win, and the number two seed Memphis wins over Wichita State. But then I think Tulsa really, really needs a quality win, so they're going to probably get to the final. But then they're going to face the number one seed, SMU. But granted, I think... It wouldn't shock me either way, whoever wins. I just think it's going to be one of those top three seeds. It's got to be. And Tulsa really, really do need need to win this just to even get in. But we'll wait and see what happens. Now, on the women's side, it's, not, it's a little bit more teams, like 11 of them. And the, and the number two seed, SMU, has a bye. Number three seed, Tulsa, has a bye. Number one seed, UCF has a bye, but Memphis, you know, that's a four seed, will play the number five seed, Tulane. But the matches before, which it is today, by the way, the number, or even currently going on right now, is the number seven seed, Cincinnati, versus number 10 seed, Wichita State. The number six seed, Houston, versus the number 11 seed, East Carolina. The number nine seed, South Florida, will take it on the number eight seed, Temple. But I think UCF is going to win regardless who it is. Same goes for Tulsa, possibly, and SMU. But the four versus five is a pick em. But I, if I were to choose, like, predict, I would say Memphis. But then in a semifinal, I would say UCF. And UCF needs to win this conference tournament just to get themselves a shot at a 16 seed. But the problem is they're so... They're, they're close, but... I'm not sure there's enough quality wins just to even get them up to that point. So I would say UCF gets to the final, and I would predict SMU gets to the final too, but we'll wait and see what happens, and I think UCF somehow wins, but we'll wait and see. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Let's get me up to 400 subscribers more by the end of this year.